if you were to have this conversation with me five years ago, right, when we were doing Passer's Perspective, mm -hmm. the one thing that would be uh, uniquely interesting about all of this is when people would talk about the idea of having the technology to be able to do this, I would kind of laugh in my heart and I would say, well, I know the technology is going to come. But five years ago, we didn't have the technology. And here's the reason why. Because if let's assume that you can get the best cameras in the world in the Holy of Holies, in order for every eye to see something, then that would imply that you would have to have a device that could connect to the internet. Now, right now, the number one way devices are connecting to the internet is through their cellular services, and the number one device that's being used to see things on video, believe it or not, is phones and watches, right? Not laptops anymore. So what's interesting here is at that time, we did not have 5G technology. We had 4G technology, and although 4G did a lot of speed, which was no problem, the problem is, is a 4G network could be overloaded when too many people got on it. 5G networks, it's impossible. And I can give you a great example of this. I went to the Long Beach Air or the uh, Huntington Beach Air Show. The very first time I went there, I remember going uh, in with my phone and my phone being completely useless. It felt like it was a brick. And that was when 4G technology, um, LTE, known as LTE, was a real, um, uh, or the first introduction LTE, was, was like it was big. And so people have learned to rely on their phones for everything. But you would go and you'd have 10,000 people you know, within a, a quarter of a mile vicinity, and that phone became a brick because the, the networks were so overloaded that they couldn't facilitate that. When I went back there last year with my daughter for her very first time seeing the show uh, last September, uh, several months ago, it was amazing how fast our phones were working. And that, that air show was more crowded than any of the other ones they've had before because there was a banging 5G network running. And that's the thing that people don't get. It's like now we do have the technology because there, there is nothing holding back from having a conglomerate of devices and, um, and it not being a, a problem. Now, we don't know the exact numbers of what a 5G network can facilitate, but what we are being told, some people are making some general assumptions, but what we are being told is it could represent three to five times the human population on this earth. Oh, wow. That's a scary number. Oh, it's a That's scary, a scary number. number. Billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of devices. Let me tell you what that implies. That implies, of course, you can have several microchips in your body that can connect via its own identifier. You can have a phone that connects via its own identifier. You can have a watch. You can have all kinds of things that connect with its own identifiers. That is uh, that's a little scary.